man has created many technological wonders, the SR-71 being one of them. It's arguably one of the most impressive aircrafts that we've created, even more so when you consider it was created during the 1960s. The Blackbird was designed, developed and manufactured by the famous Lockheed Corporation. At the time of being made, the SR-71 was developed under a black project and was led by Kelly Johnson, who was head of Lockheed Skunk Works units located in Burbank, California. What the team created was a plane that was able to reach speeds of 3,529 km per hour, or 2,200 miles per hour. As mentioned on NASA's website, two SR-71 aircrafts have been used by NASA as testbeds for high speed. The aircraft in SR-71A and an SR-71B pilot trainer aircraft are based at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center. They have been loaned to NASA by the US Air Force. Developed for the United States Air Force as reconnaissance aircraft more than 30 years ago, SR-71s are still the world's fastest and highest flying production aircraft. The aircraft can fly more than 2,200 miles per hour, Mach 3 plus or more than three times the speed of sound, and at altitudes of over 85,000 feet. This operating environment makes the aircraft excellent platforms to carry out research and experiments in a variety of areas, aerodynamics, propulsion, structures, thermal protection materials, high speed and high temperature instrumentation, atmospheric studies and sonic boom characterization. Data from the SR-71 High Speed Research Program will be used to aid designers of future supersonic hypersonic aircraft and propulsion systems, including a high-speed civil transport. The SR-71 program at Dryden is part of NASA's overall high-speed aeronautical research program, and projects involve other NASA research centers, other government agencies, universities and commercial firms. End quote. However, this incredible plane was retired by the Air Force in 1990, Something interesting to note is that no SR-71 has ever been lost or damaged. One sentence that's often accompanied with this plane is that it's too fast for enemies to take down. The main reason given for why this plane was put into retirement is because of high costs, saying that in today's money this plane would cost somewhere in the region of $250 million. As of right now, this plane is the fastest that man has ever created. Or is it? Whispers of Black Project aircraft have been around for years now, and bearing in mind that the SR-71 was created over 60 years ago, it makes you wonder what we have now. Its replacement is said to be the Aurora, although it's important to note that the US government has denied that the aircraft exists. Eyewitnesses, however, have gone against this. Back in 1991, Residents located in Southern California heard a series of unusual sonic booms, and interestingly, the United States Geological Survey even picked them up on their sensors. NASA and the Air Force came forward and said it wasn't their SR-71B, as it was not operating on the day the booms happened. Former NASA sonic boom expert Don Magaleri, who went on to study the sonic boom data at the California Institute of Technology, said that the data showed this craft was at an altitude of around 90,000 feet and was hitting Mach 5. Mach 5 means it was going 6,174 km per hour or 3,836 miles per hour. It's these types of stories that back up the claims that the Aurora project is genuine. There's said to be one more craft that's even faster than this. Another craft that's also shrouded in mystery is that of the mysterious Black Triangle, also known by some as the TR-3B Black Manta. These Black Triangles are associated with UFOs, and have been reported for the last few decades by people from various locations across our planet. In fact, researchers have said they're some of the most common UFOs reported. Sightings of them follow a similar theme. People report seeing giant triangular objects in the sky that are completely silent, 
Sometimes they're just sitting in the sky motionless, while others are seen leaving a location at extremely high speeds. Interestingly, those who have researched these objects have said they come in waves, and that for a short period of time many people will report seeing them. There have been around 4,000 reports of the triangle since the 1990s in the UK alone. There have also been waves of triangles in Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. Now there is some confusion between the Aurora aircraft and the mysterious black triangle. Some researchers have said the two are actually different, saying that there's various differences. For example, eyewitnesses say the Aurora aircraft gives off unusual sonic booms, can be seen leaving contrails and doesn't come close to the ground. The black triangles, however, don't appear to make any sound at all, are able to hover motionless and close to the ground, are said to be much faster than any aircraft ever witnessed, and don't leave behind contrails. Pilots have even come forward with their encounters with these mysterious black triangles, with one pilot detailing that while flying over Florida in a passenger plane, a silent large triangular shaped craft passed above his plane. He estimated that the craft in question was easily going at speeds exceeding 2,500 miles per hour, and said that he's never seen anything like it before. One of the problems with this aircraft is that we know it exists, and those who have debated the topic aren't sure which is more impressive. The fact that our government owns a craft that's able to travel at these incredible speeds, or that it belongs to something unknown. Various questions remain though. How are these crafts able to hover motionless in the sky without making a sound? How can they go from a standstill to thousands of miles per hour within seconds? And why does no one seem to know anything about them? Another mystery surrounding these crafts is that they're able to seemingly sneak into restricted airspace. Chris Mellon, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence during the Clinton and George W. Bush administrations, said that these black triangles had been observed flying over bases, only for the Air Force to scramble jets to chase them off, with these black triangles being able to easily outmaneuver these jets. It's incredible to think it was only back in 1903 that the Wright brothers had their first flight. Fast forward 60 years and we had the incredibly quick and sophisticated SR-71. It's unbelievable that within the span of just 60 years we were able to achieve what we did. It's been 60 years since the SR-71 was created, so is it really out of the realm of possibilities that we would be able to create something much faster than the SR-71? So what do you make of these mysterious aircrafts? And what do you make of the Aurora aircraft and the mysterious black triangles? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.